All right. Um, so this is the, the project and we're, I'm gonna go through this in class. I don't, don't think it, this is the sheet and that's it. We're actually gonna kind of walk through this pretty, pretty well in class. So we have a, it's an eight page document, um, eight and a half by 11. I didn't tell eight and a half by 11, but I just kind of made that assumption. That's kind of a normal size. We've got a cover. We've got one article that covers four pages. We got a second article that covers two pages. And then we just have a back cover. And the back cover could be another um, image or can be, you know, any, really kind of anything you want at this point. Um, so the cover, the magazine itself is, is on a subject of your choosing. So pick something you like, um, whether it be, you know, I don't know, games or cars or, or food or, or, I don't know, technology or, or parks, whatever it is that you kind of get into. Um, that way I, I, you'll, you'll, be, you'll be more excited about finding information and images and all that kind of stuff than if I just select something for you and you're like, well, dude, I don't even like, you know, I don't even like peanut butter and you're making me do a whole magazine on peanut butter. So um, pick something that you're, you're kind of into. I think that will definitely um, help with you getting things accomplished. So um, <clears throat> the images can be photos that you've taken or illustrations that you've done, um, or you can find them on the internet, okay? So it's not mandatory that you produce them yourself, but if you have them, um, please use them, or if you can go out and take a picture and use it, that, that's even better type of thing. Um, likewise, with the, um, um, uh, with the, the wording, um, you, if you're a writer and you've got words, you've got stuff written down, you want to use it in this thing, great. If not, we can, you can find stuff on the internet to put in there. Um, uh, yeah, I can, we're going to ask, can I email it? Um, <clears throat> I can. The problem is, I don't know if I can, I'll have to look in Zoom, see if I can, you know what, I, can, I bet I can put it up on Zoom. So um, let, let me try to do that, not to zoom on, on um, Blackboard or whatever the heck, what are we using now, Canvas? Um, I, let me see if I can find out where to put it in here, files. Now you can drop files here, look at this. All right, well, let me figure this out and we'll make this Good, and then we'll we'll just drop all of those. So let me try this. Let me see this. How can I do this? Well, um, all right. Well, we'll, I'll get that. I'll get files up to you guys because the internet site is down. So let me get back to this. So um, pick pick a subject of your your choice. Um, you can again gather images off the internet. You can use your own. You can use your own writing, or you can gather up stories. Um, use Photoshop, Illustrator to get the images ready, and then um, we're going to lay it all out in InDesign. Okay, um, and this is kind of a rough layout for that. And I'm going to just kind of go through this um, today with you guys, so you guys are up to speed. I guess not due to the um, ninth, the last day of class. Okay, so we've got li literally two weeks plus to do this. It will not be that difficult. Okay. Um, and in fact, I'm going to go through it in class, step by step, just so you guys uh, will have that. Okay. So questions about the assignment. Again, this is the sheet you're seeing that will, I'll get to you guys. Um, I'll try to put it into the folders here. Let's see how easy this works. Just, uh, Are we still doing the uh, travel agency poster? Yeah, yeah, that's supposed to be due, I think, next week. If okay. I'm correct or not. Um, let me see here. There's the mag. I need to upload this. Hold on. Boom. Okay. And we have the post. Here is the poster, Tuesday, Thursday. Okay, so that's there. 
And I'm, so I'm putting this on, on canvas, whatever it is. And then we have the album. So everybody should be able to hopefully get this um, there. So we are, what do you, what, Tuesday class. And then we have the last one is the album. That's called record, record, record. You guys are Tuesday, Thursday. Okay, so that's there. And then let me just see how I. Um, Okay, so they should be under files when you guys go to um, the Canvas site and you should be able to download. So let me know if you guys can get that and that works. So somebody find that and send me a text message over here that you were able to get access to those. Okay, and we'll, we'll, we'll keep going, but as somebody gets it, just send me a quick chat that you were able to get those four files, okay. Um, all right, any questions on the magazine layout sheet that I put up? Does that make sense, everybody? All right, so let me go into kind of doing this today. Um, and I actually started one yesterday with the other class, so I'm just gonna kind of continue it on from there. Um, so I, I have the eight page layout that we see over here, right? So there's the eight page. Um, and right now they're all on master A. I didn't do any master pages, anything to a master page yet, I, I will. Um, <clears throat> I'm just kind of quickly laying it out. I've got the cover. I've got this first article, which is gonna be four pages. And then I've got a second article, which is gonna be two pages and I just kind of drop some text in and I've got a, a headline and so forth over here that I put in. And again, I just gathered this information from the internet. Um, and then I started a cover and my cover is called, um, my magazine's called Your Parks. And it's a photograph I took and I'll go through this really quick in a second and, and things that we've done here in InDesign as opposed to in Photoshop. So typically you're gonna do a lot of your photo work um, in Photoshop and or Illustrator, your, your, your imagery, and then you bring it in finished to um, InDesign, okay? So this was my original picture and I'm gonna open up, um, this is the cover I started working on yesterday with the class. And I made an eight and a half by 11 file, but I made it larger. So when I did file, new i actually made it nine and a half by 12 so i gave it an extra inch all the way around um, and the reason being is i want to have extra image so when this thing would print if they go to cut this i'm not going to get potentially a little white strip because remember they print these on big sheets of paper and they actually physically cut these things down kind of like a think about a cookie cutter or they have or they have machines that just slice it okay and if i'm off by a little bit and this blue line here represents the edge of the, the paper or the edge of the book, magazine. If my picture was um, off by a little bit, I'm potentially gonna get a little white strip. So what we do is we make the pictures bigger or the images bigger, what we call a bleed. So it bleeds off the page. So when they cut it, we don't accidentally get a little thin white strip happening. Okay. so. Um, I made this larger, so I have that bleed. And then this, these guides are the, the paper itself, so I can center things up. And this is just a center guide, so I can kind of do things. And what I want to do is I want to have the magazine title here, and I'm gonna fill in the other information in 
InDesign. So um, one thing I want to show you was kind of cool is um, with the new Photoshop, they have this way of selecting elements here. So I'm gonna go up here called Object Select Tool. So it's kind of new that, that's doing this. And what it does is they will look at that layer and I'm on that layer and you can see it's kind of thinking up here. It's a little spinning wheel, spinning arrows. And when it's done, it's going to basically have selected objects on the page that, that kind of um, speed up. Okay. Now, it, I could have done things like feather and select, but I'm just going to, as I roll over, you see it kind of identified these two objects as potentially ones I would want to use. So I can literally click on that now. Okay, and it's selected it. Okay, so it's not that color is just for visual. Um, it's actually selected it. And I can make a new layer. I can copy this. Command C. Oops, I'm on the wrong layer. Command C. There's nothing here. And I can make a new layer and paste it in. Okay, so this is the new layer. And this new layer has only what I selected. Okay, or the computer selected. And it did a really great job. It saved me a whole lot of time of having to do that. And I can still make a mask of this because there might be some, there's some little edging up there that will do that. So let me select. I'm just going to magic wand so it picks everything around it. I'm going to make a mask. Okay. And I'm going to actually invert that mask. Select mask. And I'm going to scroll down over here and there's an invert. Okay, so now the outside is masked, not the inside. Click OK. So now we're, we got the right mask going on. And I can come back in up here and I can see there is a little bit of blue edge that was there. And I could kind of um, see if I can do that here real quick while we're in the feather mask mode. So I'm pulling that mask of the shift edge. It's going to, I'm trying to get rid of this little blue haze that's in there. Um, smooth it a little bit. So I'm actually shifting the mask just a hair. I'm going to click OK. Now what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to put this above the word park. So Because I, what I want to do is have this item appear in, as if it's in front of of the wording itself. So I'm just gonna literally move it up, okay? And I could turn the background back on so we have it there. There's still a little haze that I can kind of get rid of later, but um, we've now put an object in front of the text, okay? And the cool thing about this is I could have come back and kind of cut the text, but right now the text is still live. So if I need to change it, whether it be um, shift something around and or, um, change a color, I can. Okay, so I can just kind of, you know, make my changes there with that. Once I'm done and I'm happy with it, I'm gonna save this. I'm gonna X, save it as we have it as a PSD in case I need to edit. And then I'm gonna come back and just gonna export as a JPEG. And I'm gonna pick, you know, in this case, I want the best quality. So I'm gonna hit quality of great. I, they keep changing stuff. Why is it called great? I don't know. Um, and then export and magazine test cover. It's going to probably say already there. Yep. Replace it. Okay. So now I have the cover that I'm going to bring in here to illustrate into um, InDesign. And you'll notice, see, I got that little caution mark up here. And if I also look at my links, I got that. And it's basically saying it's been modified. Okay. I did a, I did a tiny little change, but if you want to change it, double, double click. If I double click, it updated it. You really didn't see a big update, but it made that change. So again, that's the nice thing about having, in this case, link files instead of embed it. If you make that change, it, it, it will show up. Okay. 
um, which is nice. So if I come back here, for example, and we'll change those color. Let's just say we make that white. And we'll make this one white. Save. Um, export as a JPEG. I'm gonna go back to great quality. So just double check that because it will sometimes default back to something that's not as good a quality. And it's good, great, whatever. That's like that one to 12 that you get sometimes with you when you're saving or one to 10. It, again, it changes on the program. Just one thing that kind of upsets me in, I didn't want this one, so, wrong file. Where'd that photo go? Did I close it? Okay. Um, just know that it does that sometimes you got just want to make sure you're staying on the, the best quality. Okay, so just take a second to do that. Save, replace. Because it's the same name, <clears throat> again, it's going to come back into um, InDesign. And, and go, hey, there was a change. We wanna change it. So here we go, we're coming back. See, I got that caution. Okay, modify, double click. So I'm gonna just double click it and you'll see the words change from pink to white. Okay, so again, that's kind of a nice thing of having a link file as opposed to an embedded file uh, that you can come back and make those changes later. If it was embedded, you'd have to re-embed the new version. Okay, does that make sense? Okay, um, things that we're gonna typically find on a, a cover are the main article. And then we'll have typically some other articles that are kind of in there. We will have something like a, a date of the publication and maybe a price, and then maybe a barcode. Okay, in this case, it's here. The FPO stands for for position only. That means that's kind of a designer talk that I need to add a barcode. Okay, so that's saying in this spot, a barcode will go. Um, likewise, if I did a box and just put a, a like photo FPO in there, that's what, what I'm trying to say is there's a photo that's going to go in there. I don't have it yet, but I'm just trying to position our boxes together so I can keep working and not have to wait on this photo until I get it. Okay. So um, that FPO just says that's where I want the barcode. And if, if you don't want a barcode on your cover, I'm fine with that. Okay. But you should have a date, um, a um, you know date of, of the publication, and then have some other um, magazine. What the articles are that are going to be in there? Okay, Does that makes sense. So now we've got the cover done in this particular layout that we're doing. Okay, so that's all done. And if I look under preview. The preview, you can see all those boxes go away and we can see up there. And I know I've got a larger than um, box. So when we print this, we would have a bleed and that would be fine. Okay, and I've come back to normal. We can see this kind of gray box is where the magazine will be cut. And we can see we've got enough room there to um, cut it without having to worry about potentially getting a little white streak there. So just, you wanna bleed. Quarter inch to half inch, usually a quarter inch is fine. When I made my Photoshop document, I just made it a half inch just to make it quick and easy. Okay, does that mean any questions on, on kind of making a cover? Do you do that in InDesign? Because what? the rest, because the rest of the, uh, uh, the rest of the project is InDesign? Well, I did the the picture, in this case, the title, the masthead of the magazine in Photoshop, and I brought that in, and then I did this text in InDesign. Okay, I got you. Does that make sense? So it's always kind of like a combination yes. of, of, that's what InDesign is, is bringing them all together. Okay. So let me show you again. We're down here. I'm going to go to this other article that kind of 
yesterday I kind of grabbed some text for, and it might even be too much, right? There's a lot of text here, um, but I might want to pull that down. So what I want to do is I want to have examples and layouts that I can kind of look at. So definitely you want to um, go online, um, look at um, layouts, There are books, there's websites. Um, so I'm just gonna click real quickly, just kind of look. So I can look through here and I can see examples of, of this is a spread, this is a spread, here's a spread. So when you can see, when we start to do like four pages, sometimes it's not that much text because a lot of it could be pictures okay so filling it up four pages is not that hard to do when it comes to magazines so it's kind of looking at that getting an idea of a potential layout so here we have a, a picture and a two column spread over here you know and that might be nice i might like this so you know in this case i'm going to actually just kind of drag this let me see if it's going to pop up here is it going to it did okay so I just grabbed this picture and I don't want the whole picture. I'm just gonna drag it over here. And I'm just gonna kind of use it as a reference. I'm just scaling this down. I don't really need that that big. And let me make it 50, 50 bucks. So just kind of looking at this as a reference. Oops. And I'm thinking of like this, right? For this two page spread, um, here's a nice spread here with a cover over here's a one here um this is not bad it's kind of nice right so i'm getting some ideas as to how to lay this out i'm not trying to um invent anything right everything's kind of built upon that's just how we as a culture right i mean we they had to build the small little airplane the wrights brothers in order to build a jet and they had to build a jet in order to build a spaceship that type of thing um Likewise, you know, there's magazines and we're building upon them. We're getting better with our design and all design kind of builds upon the past. So um, I'm going to use this layout just because it's one picture and some text. It'll, it'll move pretty quickly. So I just have it as a reference. So what does that mean? I'm going to have text over here. And again, I'm not worried about it um, filling in or getting the whole article. And I'm just kind of doing layouts. All right. And then I'm going to pull this box up here. And I know I've got over text, over printed because I've got the red box with the square. So that means there's going to be text on some other page. And then in this case, they did the title over here. And I've got that here. And I'm just going to center that all up. And we'll just, we'll, we'll go back and format this in a minute. Just going to center this box out. Okay, um, and then we've got over here what would be a big picture, All right? So I can just draw a box. And we've got a picture. I'm going to give it a little bit of a bleed on that edge so it bleeds off. And I need to find a picture, so I'm just going to now go to my internet here. Um, and this is an article about the mountains, so I'm just going to put a you know. Mountain. I got a quick question about yes. text. Yes. Um, so for the sake of this uh, assignment, does the text have to make any sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want to make sense. I don't want to use like uh, filler text. Okay. So just kind of Google an article. So I did like yesterday, I Googled this article and found an article about um, surviving in the mountains. And then I literally just copied this. And then I just pasted that into InDesign. So it just makes a lot more sense as you're starting to lay out when you have real words. And then I would say, make sure the words kind of match your story. You know, so right. you're, not, you're not putting words in a, um, you know, uh, an adventure day at Disneyland, and then you're showing pictures of, you know, the Caribbean, All right? So keep, keep the, the imagery and the wording kind of in close proximity. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. Thank you. So I've got mountain photos over here and I'm just gonna to go to images. And I'm just gonna find one. I'm, again, I'm looking kind of vertical. So I can actually go in here um, and use the tools and I should be able to find, uh, 
see if they could do, give, me, give me a formatting size. I'm gonna go large, cause I want large. Okay. And then I'm gonna actually type in the word vertical. And that's gonna give me more of that vertical format. Okay, so I'm looking for, um, okay, let me go back to large now. Looking for large format, so I'm getting good, much better resolution. Otherwise you're gonna get, um, yeah, it's gonna get pixelated. So let me just see, this is kind of pretty. And looks like you can download. I don't want that. That's well, miss so these things is okay. Okay, so I got that coming. Hopefully that's good. I'm gonna open it up in Photoshop and double check it. Um, Bye. Bye. So yeah, that's there, it's pretty good. Um, I'm gonna, again, always come back and just kind of <clears throat> open that in Photoshop just to verify it. Photoshop, and I put that into my downloads. There it is. <clears throat> so again, I can bring it in. And just because it's there doesn't mean I can't do anything to it. I might want to do some um, adjustments. Maybe we'll make it give it a little bit more vibrance. Maybe a little more saturation. Just, you know, I can push it. It's okay. You can see it's not a lot, but it's pushing it a little bit. Um, and then we're looking at the image itself. We're saying it's 14 inches by 17. So more than big enough, right? So we're, we're pretty good with that. So I'm going to save as a JPEG, a little bit of my desktop. Again, I'm putting it back in my folder. We're going to kind of keep things organized. Okay. So Fullerton, Fall. Right about my motivations or about how maximum quality. And now I'm going to come back to InDesign and I'm going to just paste it, right? So I've got my box made. I've selected it. Command V for place. And we're here. There's that picture. Boom. And we've got it in. Okay. Um, and then I can, you know, thick contents proportionally. How oh, pleased I am to see the project. I'm going to change my status. I'm just going to move a little right on that, right on the middle of the gutter line here. Okay, so we can put that in place. Now we've got the photo there. We're happy, right? And on the layout over here, we can see we've got a nice photo. And then we've got the text. So we've got the text up here. And um, again, this is where I'm going to come back through and select my, my typefaces. Um, you can make style sheets. You don't have to for this particular project. It's, it's again, we only have a few um, items here. So it's not, you know, the end of the world with that. And I'm going to make this a little bit larger. Okay, so I want to make this word larger still. And then we got, um, I'm gonna hit actually give it a return. I'm gonna, and I hit a return, but then I don't want this much of a gap. So this is where I'm gonna come in with my letting. I'm just gonna drop it down so I can tighten it up, but I can also have a, a fairly decent gap. Um, and I'm gonna, who cares if Taylor was 26? I'm just gonna get that up. Um, and then I don't wanna heighten in my, title here or subtitle. So I'm hitting a return. Um, so a shift return gives it basically a hard return. And then we've got that and that's pretty good. I like that a lot. Now we've got the article itself and I'm gonna just kind of highlight that. I'm gonna pick at a typeface. Um, 
Let me go with these serif, sans serif. So we have a sans serif up here and we have a serif down here. And then we've kind of done this. Now I know we've got extra articles, so I'm not worried about that. But again, I'm trying to make it look similar to this one. So I can probably extend this down a little bit. I'll pull that box down a hair. I'm gonna pull this one down a little bit. They're lined up. We get that little green arrows that tells us things are lining up. And I'm lining it up there. Um, and I'm gonna get rid of, this was kind of a subhead with this. So I'm gonna do that as a, a medium. And I'm gonna make it one, two points bigger. Um, all right, and now we've got the article. Right. And again, I'm going to look at things like the rag in the edge. And I've got these weird um, things going on in here. So I'm going to get rid of that. You know, it was this is coming from the article. right? So I don't want that. I'm just going to put a hyphen in there. So Anna, they were doing some type of graphic things in there. We do have a couple, um, we do have the hyphenations are on, and we got this weird thing, so Momo. So we have Moraine, which is a term for, or a technical term uh, for climbing, and then we have Moment. So it just happened to be that just two M-O words next to each other, and they just hyphenate it, and it just looks weird. Um, so in this case, I might probably return one. So I'm gonna hit before this one, and I'm gonna hold shift return, and that brought that over and actually got rid of both of them. We have a little bit of an indent here, but it's not too bad. Um, I'm gonna undo that first, because maybe I want to, let me just look over here, did they justify? Yeah, let's see, they're justified on both edges. All right, so I'm gonna do that first here. Let me just justify this article. I'm selecting it, and I'm gonna go to, um, Select it out, I'm going to justify it. And it's still got that Momo. So I was trying to hope maybe it got rid of it, but it didn't. So what I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna do a hard return, shift return, and what it does, it brings that over. And we still have that one here. And it's not too bad, but um, this one's kind of weird because we got a hyphenated word with a hyphenated word going to the next column. Um, so I think I am going to return on that and we'll leave the other ones in place. And if we look at our reference, we're pretty darn close over here, right? So again, we're using reference to kind of help us figure things out um, as we go. So again, we're not copying, we're just, oops, I gotta show you preview or normal so you can see it. Um, <clears throat> we're just kind of using it as a reference. So I don't know what typeface I use. I know I'm a different, thicknesses and stuff like that. But it's given me an idea. They have a black and white photo, I've got a color. Um, but it just kind of gives me a feel and a look as to how I can start to uh, lay these out. And then, you know, we're done. I know there's extended article, but I'm not worried about that for this particular project. I'm gonna zoom out. And now we've got a, a whole two page article done. All right, we're, we just did that in a matter of a couple of minutes. So I don't believe it's going to take you too, too long once you kind of get rolling with this to kind of put this together. But again, look at that reference as you're working. So you're, you're, you've got something to go from, all right? You're not trying to invent it. Um, so there, and there's a ton and ton and ton of references out there. So just find some stuff that works for you and then just grab them. You can kind of sit it next to it just to kind of give you a feel. Oh, maybe a picture all the way across. Oh, there's something nice. There's some round pictures. Let me see how I can do that, right? And you can kind of figure these things out. Um, likewise with magazine covers, there's a ton of ways that you can do it. Um, you know, look at the stuff. Look at the reference as you're working. All right, questions. Well, and we'll go through next week. We'll go through the uh, leg out for the four page. Yeah, um, where, did, where exactly did you get your reference again? Like that specific reference template? Oh, I just went to uh, Google. I went to Safari 
and I just did um, magazine layouts. See, there it is there. Got it. Thank you. Yeah, there's a ton of good stuff out there, guys. Right. That that's contemporary. There's stuff that's kind of you know old fashioned. I don't know, whatever. But look through it. Um, and feel free to get creative, right? You can see stuff here is kind of got some very provocative and, and very big bar. Now this is dummy text, right? They're just doing placeholder text, but you can you can see the formats and then you can kind of bring that into yours. Okay. So there's a lot of kind of examples out there. Uh, some more more complicated, some simpler. And again, a lot of these are come because these are like they have templates. You can buy these things. Okay. I don't see any reason to buy them because I can kind of look at that and make this myself in a matter of minutes. Um, but you know, it might be an option for you down the line for a company and say, hey, I've got this idea. What do you think? And if they like it, you buy it. The problem is typically these templates don't come with the typeface or anything like that. They're just kind of boxes. Um, so you still got to go back through and put it all in. So they kind of, I don't know. I just never, I just never bought really a magazine template. Um, this is kind of a, they call this a pull quote. Okay. Where you're actually grabbing a um, part of an article or part of the article and pulling it out just to kind of bring emphasis. And, and we'll do that with the four pager that we got coming up. So here's kind of an example of four page, two page, and then two page. They just kind of show it side by side. Okay. So, um, you know, there's a lot of, a lot of options out there and a lot of things to look at. Okay. So take your time going through kind of figuring out. And, and in reality, this is what you would do if you were working for a magazine or something, you would kind of do this quick layouts um, just to get, a, get things in place. And then you're going to come back through and put your stories in and your type in and, and get things the way they should be. Okay. But then you have, but you have something, a reference to go from. Okay. Other questions. Was everybody able to get, Tell me, could you get to the? Uh, I can. Yeah, could you? Yeah, get I was to the files. I you couldn't get to. You could or could not. Could not. So, do you see a files on your canvas? Yeah, I see it. It just doesn't. When I click on it, it doesn't let me do anything. It doesn't let you see anything. No, it just, it just. I just sit there and click away, and nothing happens. All right. Let me see if I can. On all of hey, was anybody else able to get there? Just let me know. But just I just need the poster one because the logo and record one already we've already completed that. It's just yeah, the, but you could you couldn't when you clicked on files you didn't see anything. Uh, yeah. When I, when I when I when I clicked on the file, it didn't let me download okay. anything. Um, all right. I'm just looking here and see if there's something to. Is it going to be uh, on the website? Yeah, it's, it's already up on the website. The problem oh, okay. is the website's kind of goofing up. Um, oh, it is right now? Yeah, well, that's why we weren't able okay. to get onto the site. Let me see here. Let's see, I'm showing it up. This is my student view of your stuff. So you check it out under course and files. Okay. Yeah, it should be there because I'm on... Yeah, see, I'm in student view, so it should be there. Okay. It is up on the website, oh, but again, okay. we're having yeah. problems with the website. It's, all right, I'm good. It's there. Okay. And then let me. Yeah, the whole website is down right now. If I need to, I'll re-upload everything. I don't know why it should be down. Maybe I got hacked. No, I didn't. I don't want to think that way. Um, all right. Other questions? Let me double check. So you got came in. I have a question, but it's not about uh, this class. Okay. Uh, for uh class uh for photography classes uh oh uh, which uh professor or instructor or whatever you want to call 
is a it's a good one. What kind is the best one? Topography. Photography. Photography. Photos like pictures. Yes. Um, I don't know. I don't know who who encapsulates is the best. Uh, and, and I'm not saying it because I just I just really don't know. Um, because I'm when I'm there, I'm just kind of in my little graphics lab. Uh, yeah, I haven't heard anything. I haven't anything heard anything good or bad about any of the, the photo features. Okay. Sometimes I said, look rate, look at rate my professor. Yeah, it's kind of you know. I found half time the rate rate my professor people are just people that are pissed at the world and you know, rate oh, they, they suck. Um, yeah, I, I I would just tell you from from what I've seen of all the teachers there, they're all phenomenally good. Um, but I would think with the photo teachers, they're going to probably also have websites up too. You can kind of look at their work. Um, kind of, I would just Google them, you know, at least look at their Instagram or something, right? I don't yeah. know. If a photo teacher doesn't have an Instagram, I, I'll be kind of like, well, where's your Instagram, man? You know, what's going on? Um, I mean, I, I have an Instagram and show my photos. So, um, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I, I really, I wish I could tell you, but I, I have no, I, I couldn't even guess. Okay, that's fine. I was just curious because I'm just trying to figure out exactly what classes I'm, I want to take. I mean, again, everything I've, everybody I've observed or seen, everything looks like great. So there's nobody I'm like, well, gee, you better watch out for that guy. Um, but I think they're all pretty good. And they seem to do a pretty good job of just kind of, you know, making sure they're good teachers coming in um you know and you know and again if you don't like it after a week drop it and take somebody else you know yeah. but um yeah photography would be cool i would take a photo class just to kind of push you in new directions you know seminars um others any other questions let me just see if I have checking their attendance here. Looks like I've got everybody. What do we got? Two over three. Let me see what I'm missing here. Let's see. Okay, questions as we go. So Thursday, obviously, no class. Enjoy your Thanksgiving. Um, have some food. Chill with the family. Um, football game, maybe. Um, you know, and enjoy, okay? Um, at least we're able to kind of get together this year. With that. I think I got everybody. So anything else? So um, check the website, that'll have the project if you need it. If you haven't been able to download it from the chat or go to the files in Canvas for our class and that should be in there, um, we, we, we should be good. I, I, think, I don't think it's gonna be too complicated. And, um, and then the, the poster projects do next, I wanna say, I don't know if I put it, Tuesday, Thursday, next week, I don't know what day I put down. I'm not going to sweat it. Okay. Um, but that's due next week. All right. Anything else? Y'all? All right, guys. Have a good Thanksgiving. Um, let me know if there are any questions. And we will take it from there. All right. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Professor. Thanks. Yeah, Happy thanks, Thanksgiving. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Thank you. Um, Professor Cross, I just got like a kind of like a little reminder that I'm, I'm officially done with my uh, travel poster project, and now I'm going straight into like the magazine layout project. Okay, perfect. And I actually can't. I actually cannot wait for this. Actually, I got like a lot of things to like share about. So cool. And it has to be anything, right? Anything. So, anything. You pick pick something that you're excited about. So movies and games and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Totally. Okay, I got a lot of stuff to go on. So nice. 
Thank you. Uh, happy okay. Thanksgiving. You too. Bye. Bye.